After a long and snowy winter, spring is finally here. We can finally spend more time with my backyard pond. This video isn't going to focus on the pond itself, rather we're going to harvest a fish treat that has grown in my pond over the winter. Every winter, life in the pond comes to a standstill, and while the fishing plants are dormant, the algae continuously grows. It grows all winter without the fish eating it and without the plants competing with it. So by spring, the bottom of the pond is like a grassy meadow, full of green hair algae, which is a delicacy to some of my herbivore tropical fish. For years, I've been collecting rocks in my pond covered in this green algae and offering it to my aquarium fish. Algae is a great natural food source for any herbivore fish my African and Bonasicas love it, and it's what they would primarily eat in the wild. Initially, they were afraid because I just added a giant boulder to their aquarium, but these fish are curious, and within minutes they realized that it was food, and they started to feast. I also added an algae rock to my 210 gallon aquarium. While these fish were a lot more timid, after some time, the clown loach just discovered it and they attracted my barbs. Before you know it, there was a feeding frenzy on this algae rock. In my other tanks, fish like my Leparinus and my Juvenile Cichlids really enjoyed it. And I also tried adding it to my big 350 gallon aquarium, which is home to my large Central American Cichlids. And while my Vieja do like the taste of it, this was a tease because these are very big fish and this is a pretty tiny treat. Now back to my pond. 
This year I plan on making some major changes. I already scheduled to rehome my koi within this week. I love my koi, but I want to go in a different direction with the pond. I want the pond to be more of a self-sustaining ecosystem, which means that I want to incorporate more plants into my pond. And if you know koi, koi love to eat plants. So unfortunately, I will be rehoming a koi. Now the koi will be going to someone with a much bigger pond, so I'm not too sad to see them go. Once the koi are gone, I will be adding obviously a lot more plants and I'll keep a fish stock of mainly goldfish with some US native fish like darters, maybe some shiners and just I'm really experimenting with more of the fish that are locally found in my area. This will hopefully be completed within the next few weeks. Be sure to subscribe to see the process.